Coach Zane back with another video. Uh, today, I want to kind of touch up on the flow warm up that I did um, just a couple weeks back. If you haven't seen that video, please go check it out. So, today will be part two of my version of what works out, you know, what I find works out best for me in terms of warming up. All right, guys, the first movement uh, this actually is from the toe touch leading up. I call this on the airplane. So you're going from your toe touch, walk out, lay down on the floor, and spread out. And what I'm gonna do is try to do the leg, opposite leg touching the opposite arm. If you can, we're gonna work up to that. If you can't, that's okay. We're gonna do about three to four per side here as a pass through. And then we're gonna come back and go back into toe touch. The second movement is for opening up both the hip and partially your groin. So, and we're gonna put the hands right in the middle, prop one of the legs up. This one you can have with the knees or knee up, or the knee could be down on the ground. Again, the idea is here to try to push the hip or drive the hip into the floor, right? And then we're gonna switch to the other side. So again, I start off with the knee up, followed by the knee coming down to further increase the stretch here, right? Give that a try. So the third option, um, this one I love to use for helping me squat a little bit deeper. Now, not everybody's gonna be able to get to this depth, um, but just work with what you can, okay? So we'll start with just shoulder width apart. We're gonna bend over, grab onto your ankles. Now for those with mobility and flexibility issues, we don't have to go that low, but the idea is to try to hold on and challenge yourself in the depth here, right? So once again, we're gonna pop back up, we're gonna come out, go back down, hold on to the ankles, really trying to work with what you can here, guys, right? Get as low as you can. Give that one a try. 